Hello, this is Kirill from forexboat.com and welcome back to the course on forex trading. In today's tutorial, we will talk about forex market hours. We will see in which time zones the forex market operates and how it so happens that the forex market is so different to any stock market in the way that it works 24 hours a day. For this tutorial, I really wanted to show you a global map of the world with the forex sessions visualized on it. And because I couldn't find a decent one on the net, I went ahead and made one of my own. And uh, this is what it looks like. And I'll definitely share it with you by giving you the link to download it at the end of this tutorial. So on this map at the bottom, we've got a time axis. And the way to read it is from right to left, uh, because the sun rises from east to west. Uh, that axis uh, is in a GMT time. And then uh, we've got uh, the four main forex sessions starting from bottom to top uh, as they commence through a new day. So the first one is a Sydney session, then it's a Tokyo session, then it's a London session, and then it's the New York session. So what can we see from this visualization of the Forex market hours? And how can we use this in our trading? Let's have a closer look at the sessions one by one and see what exactly happens over a 24-hour period on the Forex market. So the Australian session. You will notice that uh, the very first session to open uh, during any given day is the Sydney Forex market session. And Australians are the first uh, nation to wake up into a new day. It's still 22 hours, so 10 p.m. of the previous day in London when Sydney banks open up. So this means that if you live in Europe or in the US and it's Tuesday, then you can already trade the Wednesday Sydney Forex market session and that's just a mind-blowing fact that I was very interested to learn when I first got into Forex. Also you may ask what about the New Zealand session and that's a fair point. New Zealand is located uh, even more to the right from Australia and the New Zealand session starts about two hours before the Sydney session. However without the Australian session the liquidity on the New Zealand market is very low and so that's why people focus on the Sydney session rather than the New Zealand session. Moving on, the next session is the Tokyo session, which follows shortly after. This session is also called the Asian session because right after Tokyo, large economic hubs like Singapore and Hong Kong start waking up. The Asian session starts around midnight GMT when most of Europe is still in a deep sleep. And this is why you often hear European traders talking about waking up at 3 a.m. just to trade the Asian session before going back to bed. Also, you may have already noticed that some of the Forex sessions overlap quite significantly. For example, the Australian session and Asian sessions overlap for the majority of their Forex market hours. And the good news is that you can use this knowledge to your advantage. Naturally, when these two sessions overlap, currency pairs like the Australian dollar Japanese yen and the New Zealand dollar Japanese yen will have their highest volatility. The next session that follows the Tokyo session is the London session. Undoubtedly, London is the economic center of Europe, and it's essential that the European session is also called the London session. Moreover, by the time banks open up in Great Britain, other major economic hubs like Frankfurt, Luxembourg, and Zurich have already started into their forex market hours for the day. An interesting observation is that the forex hours of the Tokyo and London sessions overlap for approximately one hour. And this varies a little bit for other European countries. And you can and you probably should use this fact to your advantage. This slight overlap means that all of the crosses of European currencies and the Japanese yen will have their highest volatility at the start of the European session. So if you're trading the British pound Japanese yen, for instance, you can simply carry out a few very powerful trades between 8 a.m. and 9 a.m. GMT, and then you're free for the day. And some traders actually do that. They capitalize on this narrow window of time when both sessions are open. They take the most out of the movements of volatile currency pairs like the British pound Japanese yen, and uh, then they finish their trading very early on in the day, and um, they have the rest of the day for themselves. And finally, the last session to open up is the New York session. Forex market hours in the US start with New York and this is because New York is one of the biggest financial centers in the world and it is the eastmost major city in America. 
The American session also includes other major economic hubs like Chicago, which is the world's largest derivative market. And let's not forget about Toronto, which is uh, a major Canadian financial hub. So what happens when you put more firewood into a fire? That's right, it burns even harder. And same thing happens here. New York and London are the two of the world's biggest financial centers. And the American session starts when the European session is only halfway through. And of course, you're going to get an extremely fast paced and volatile market during that overlap. And once again, you can profit from this. A lot of the major pairs like the euro dollar, pound dollar and the dollar Swiss franc experience massive movements and specific patterns during this time. In fact, I created a holistic trading strategy for the British pound dollar just based on this one fact. The strategy is called Simple System Version 6.0 and you can find it in my Forex Robots course. It uses an extremely profitable pattern that I discovered for the British pound dollar, and in that course, I give it away for you, to you for free, so if you're interested, uh, definitely check out that course. And finally, to sum up the Forex market hours, let's have a look at the end of the New York session. As you can see, even though the Sydney session and the New York session do not overlap, they follow each other back to back and this illustrates why the forex market is open 24 hours a day if you take any time zone on this map at least one forex session will always be open and in the end i'd like to say that whatever your trading strategy is it is always beneficial to keep in mind the forex market hours of the four forex sessions this is because different sessions are dominated by different types of traders banks governments and as we discussed, different types of currency pairs. And taking this into account will certainly give you a competitive advantage over other Forex traders. So that brings us to the end of today's tutorial. As promised, here's the link to this map. Uh, just go to www.forexboat.com slash forex hyphen market hyphen hours. And there you can get this map in HD resolution. I'm also planning on uh, releasing a map like this for every single time zone. So uh, soon enough, you'll be able to download this map specific to your location. And because it's in HD, unlike other Forex maps on the net, you can even use it as your desktop wallpaper. And that is very handy to always have it in front of your eyes. So you can quickly reference in which Forex market session you are currently trading. On that note, I'll wrap up today's tutorial. When you do visit me on forexboat.com, don't forget to subscribe to the newsletter so that you can get access to more free uh, tools like this and other tips and tricks. I look forward to seeing you next time and until then, happy trading.